Good evening, everyone. It's the 31st of January. The word spirit. What does it mean to be spiritual? Well, if we look at the word spirituality, it's defined as the spirit the quality of being concerned with the human spirit or soul as opposed to material or physical things. The shift in priority the material or physical to the spiritual. The question I have to ask tonight and myself to ask myself and all of us is are we concerned about spiritual things or are we concerned about the material things or the physical things of this world first corinthians 10 4 and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them and that rock was christ are we drinking of that rock that followed them? Are we drinking of Christ? First Peter 2.5 Ye also as lively stones are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. First Corinthians fifteen forty six. Howbeit that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. First Corinthians two thirteen. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. seems like we have a preoccupation with the physical we've got to pay our bills we've got to keep the car running we got to you know keep the house up we got to put food on the table all of those things that relate to the physical but yet at the same time we do have souls we are we have spirit souls and bodies First Corinthians 15:44. It is sown a natural body; it is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. First Corinthians 10:3. And did all eat the same spiritual meat? Romans 7 14 for we know that the law is spiritual but I am carnal sold under sin <coughs> Galatians 6 1 brethren if a man be overtaken in a fault ye which are spiritual restore such a one in the spirit of meekness considering thyself <coughs> Excuse me, lest also thou also be tempted. Ephesians 5.19 Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. First Corinthians three one and I brethren could not speak unto you as unto spiritual but as unto carnal even as unto babes in Christ. Romans one eleven for as long as I I long to see you that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end you may be established. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings 
in heavenly places in Christ. That's quite a scripture, isn't it? You have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. It may seem like sometimes that we don't feel spiritual at all. It seems like, you know, we we're not heavenly minded at all at times. We're only preoccupied with the things of this world. Colossians 3.16 Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing with grace in your hearts to God. Ephesians 6, 12, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. How can you have spiritual wickedness? You ever thought about that? Colossians 1 9 for this cause we also since the day we heard do it do not cease to pray for you even to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding Romans 15 27 and hath pleased them verily and their debtors that are they are for if the Gentiles have been made partakers of their spiritual things, their duty is also to minister unto them in carnal things. Well, oftentimes throughout the day, we return to think on things above, don't we? Sometimes we have to ask ourselves the question, how often are we thinking about physical or material things and opposed to spiritual things? What are we really, what's really important to us? I think that um, With social media, it's real easy to get in the flesh and really start thinking about getting preoccupied with all the craziness going on in the world. But if we go back to the Word of God, we find sustenance for our souls. May the good Lord be with you today in a special way and let us think on things above today. And let us forget the cares of this world. God bless.